Our voice, our opinion is brought to you by Grand Diva Studios, owned and operated by Jamaica Kitchens, specializing in natural and healthy hair care. another segment of Our Voice, Our Opinion. We're here with Mr. Alex Victor and we're starting a new segment, Our Relationships. What are we going to talk about today? Uh, today we're going to talk about how to better your marriage relationships. All right. I get a lot of uh, calls of people saying they want to do better in the relationships. Things They've been married for maybe five years or longer mm -hmm. and that, that, that pizzazz and energy just seems to mm. die away. So we're going to talk about uh, just simple, two little tips that okay. many people take for granted are very simple. All right, go ahead. The first tip i like to talk about is Someone called and said, you know what, I've been dating, I've been married to my spouse for a long time, and I, we just don't have that fire that we had in the beginning. What happens after those three, four, five years? What deteriorates? Life. Yes. Kids, children, life, work. children, work, yeah. everything. Right. And the main thing when people stop doing, they stop dating each other. That's okay. tip number one. Always date your spouse. Don't ever stop. When you first met your spouse, what are some of the things that you guys love to do? Oh, wow. Um, well, we were miles apart, so mm -hmm. we, when we got together, we went to the beach, we went out to eat, we went to movies, mm -hmm. we went to the zoo, Wonderful. we went all kind of places. He's a history buff, so, uh, yeah, our first date was at Alex Haley's home, so we did stuff like that. It was really great. See, great, wonderful things you could do, and you don't have to spend money on it. You could go for a walk in the park, you could push your, your spouse on the swings. That's actually very romantic. You know, you can write letters to your spouse. Little well, things how like do you, that. How do you manage that with kids and with work? And I mean, you're tired. You're you're busy. You're running. I mean, how do you make that well, stick? You, how do you, you, make that you have to schedule that time, and it's important. Just like you you you're hungry, and you want to eat. Mm -hmm. You have to schedule that hungry for love, for desire, for affection. For for most males, if I want to get intimate with my spouse, I just can't jump into it. She needs to feel like I'm dating her, like mm -hmm. I desire her, like mm -hmm. I want her. So I have to practice those things, write little letters, a text if you can in this new generation. Right, right. Talk to her on the phone, no matter how much I love or care about her. And that arouses the relationship very much. Okay. And, and the second thing I, I would like to talk okay. about, um, what a lot of us take for granted, especially in the uh, African-American community, uh, counseling. Counseling, every relationship needs counseling. We all need to fine tune our marriage, our relationship, whether it be spiritual counseling or professional psychologist, so not psychologist or counselor or counseling. I, okay, I, I okay. Mm -hmm. That's not usually something that, mm -hmm. like you said, happens in our culture. Yeah. It's expensive, mm -hmm. uh, and then those who can't afford it, you know, it's it's not something that we're familiar with. Mm -hmm. So what is it? What am I going to get from a counselor that I can't get from praying or going to church or you know? And I think that's the the general consensus of a lot of African American people. Most problems in relationships are learned behavior. We were taught by our parents, or we grew up in a household, and mm -hmm. we see our family grow up. We learn these behaviors. So your spouse learned to be a certain way, and you learned to be a certain mm -hmm. way. So if you seek a neutral party like a counselor who doesn't know you or your spouse, mm -hmm. they can really tell you your real problems and issues. It's things that you have a problem communicating with your husband or your spouse. The counselor can neutralize that and actually speak or, or back, translate those things for you. Pastors, I kind of in between recommending them. Some pastors are good. Some pastors are just pastors and not really counselors and they mm -hmm. don't have an adequate background in helping people in relationships. But if you can't afford that and you have an adequate pastor, who can be a neutralizer or, or play as a, a neutral buffet because you don't want someone to, you want to be able to express yourself with confidentiality without feeling that your business is out in the street. What you find though is a lot of people tend to use their family and friends yes. as counseling. Mm -hmm. um, you discourage that? I mean, because sometimes it helps and some, you know, I, I'm actually the type of person, I'm a very friendly person. Yes. I have very good strong sisters that I are of like mind mm -hmm. as I am about marriage and about life. And so I find that talking to them helps yes. a lot of times in the situation. 
if you have that, do you still do you still think you need to? That is great to have. It's good to brief. It's a good way to um, talk about problems. As long as you have a confidant mind your friends. Mm -hmm. The issue sometimes may lie that you may be the issue. And a counselor will tell you the absolute truth that will be unbiased. Or you may have something that is in deep confidence. You don't want your friends to know. Because they may mm -hmm. maybe say, you know what, she's that type of person. And mm -hmm. they may go after your husband. So... Sometimes that neutral that neutral person may eliminate those things. That might be a problem. And you'll sleep better at night. <laughs> you'll sleep better at night knowing uh, we're gonna. Well, hey, you never know. But I tell you what, that's good. Always date your spouse. Yes. Find that time. Mm -hmm. Is what you're saying. Yes, gotta make that time. Happen. Find the time. Find the energy. You yes. found it to get them. Yes. Right. Okay. And if you don't make that time, remember somebody else will. All right. And on that note, this has been our voice. Our opinion, and uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Victor. Thank we you. appreciate you appreciate stopping by and talking with us, and we're going to make sure that we, we talk again. Our Voice, Our Opinion is brought to you by Grand Diva Studios, owned and operated by Jamaica Kitchens, specializing in natural and healthy hair care.